So Adam, we have a new question from Aaron G. Yeah. And Aaron's asking, what do you do if a guy is rushing at you with a bunch of straight punches, just non-stop? Oh, you want to come in and help me, Chris? Yeah. Sure, um, straight punches. There's actually quite a few things you can do. We'll go over just a couple of them today. Um, and for each technique, I'll tell you about briefly the pro and cons, right? So, okay, so back up a bit, Chris, not too much. I want to get out of frame. Right. So if he rushes you, right, that's something you can do, right? I see him shift weight, I go in and kick. Pros is, usually works, but you need a good cup to train this. That's why I just tap him there. And it looks like I move first, right? And then the con, however, is most real fights don't start out here. Don't start in kicking distance. They start at hand distance, right? So your chances, even if you're good at it, to be able to do this in a self-defense situation is really rare. Most people, when they walk up to start a fight with you, don't give you kicking distance, right? There's exceptions to this, uh, but they're few and far between, right? Another thing you can do against straight punching that works really good is a guy starts to rush with straight punch and you take his legs, right? Go for a double leg, right? You can tackle him. The reason why that works pretty good is I've noticed not everybody, but a lot of people who train a lot of rushing, blessing type of attack, they usually don't spend that much time on takedown defense because they favor punching a lot, right? So that works pretty good. The disadvantage of that, of course, common sense, right? If you take the fight to the ground and it happens to be self-defense, if the guy's packing a blade or if he has friends around, not good news, right? So it's good for sparring though, right? If you're in a sparring match and I don't know what the context of the question is, the person asking this, that's the the question. But if it is self-defense, you want to take precaution against that, right? Another one that's really popular is that the guy starts to blitz, you cover up, right? That's a very common uh, defense, and that works really good because that's what boxers do it a lot, and also other martial arts. But there is also a con to that, and that is if, if Chris covers up, a lot of people that train covering up assumes the guy is just a puncher, but a lot of people that train blitzing type of attacks, if I went at Chris, also trains a lot of removals, right? A minute ago, when Chris did this, as soon as he touched me, I feel his pressure was going that way, so I just shifted. I did a bomb set, right? So a lot of people that train blitzing attack also train sticking. So that's something to take uh, account, right? So, yeah. So there's, those are the few things you can do. For me, maybe if you go with that side, you can see it better. If the guy did blitz me, right? This is what, if I was close, that's what I'd do. I'll cut. I, I, what I did do was I split his hands open, so you can't keep on using the speed, but I want to neutralize his speed in other words, right? So, probably went too fast, dude. So I just probably came up, and I split his hands open, and I started attacking, right? The key is to attack the center, so you can't keep on doing this, right? Because they go pretty fast once he gets going. So I want to neutralize his speed, okay? If you want to keep the Kung Fu Report free for the community forever, you can support the series at Patreon, a funding platform to support the content you love. A big thank you to our Patreon support for making the Kung Fu Report series possible.